Hey there! I'm going to be talking about a Scribo that was uh, lent to me by uh, Scribo itself. Um, this is a Scribo feel. I have reviewed feels before, but this finish finish is very nice. Arrivederle le stelle um, to look upon the stars uh, once again, to see the stars once again, etc. Uh, which is a quote from the end of the first canto of the Inferno by Dante Alighieri. Uh, and as you may not be able to tell from a distance, but up close, it does look like a starry night. And I will say it's a, it's a beautiful finish. I really think this is very, very attractive. The feel model itself I've reviewed before. So I really wanted to do this for two reasons. One, the finish is special and two, this pen has a triple broad nib, which is something you pay extra for, but I thought it would be fun to show you a triple broad nib. Not a lot of companies make those anymore. Let's do that, I'll show you the parts of the pen, do a writing sample, tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go with this Scribo Feel Arrivederle Stelle. Um, cute box, has this magnetic closure, and then you get the, I don't think there's anything, un uh, there is uh, something under this, the paperwork, uh, which is which is always nice and interesting. Right, the paperwork, I'll just put that away, if I can. Okay. And then you have, this is just the, the paper wrapping, the pen comes in, it's very nice. I like that because you can just recycle it, um, as opposed to just a plastic or whatever, like it's, it's nice, the paper, carbon footprint etc. Okay so here we have this leather and canvas pen wrap the pen comes with you can put the pen in but you can also put a second pen in which I think is nice gives you an opportunity but if you buy another Scribo then you then you can put four pens in so that doesn't work it has to be something else that doesn't come with another case like this because then you'll just keep going forever and you're stuck in a loop <laughs> okay um, and then in here is a polishing cloth which I think is also very nice it's a it's an expensive pen but this is a nice touch because this is not just a, a little crappy pen case like it's actually well made canvas and leather canvas is very strong uh, you can put two pens in which I think is a nice touch so I like that that that's nice eye for detail polishing cloth too and then here we have the actual pen yeah beautiful beautiful finish if you ask me uh, pilot metropolitan right next to it just for size comparison I'll try to put that so it's actually in view sorry nice pen bigger pen feel but what a finish that this truly does look like a field of stars and I think that is very very attractive I do really love it so um, what can I say about this I haven't already said so to see again the stars it's the uh, uh, Dante Inferno uh, nib options are wide, extra, extra fine, all the way through uh, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and there is the triple broad, which is on this, there is a stub, there is an uh, extra flexible nib option, uh, so they're definitely cool options. The um, triple broad or the stub, you do pay extra, 98 euros 36 cents the pen itself is 581.97 without vat and that's pretty much it piston filled pen let's cover the parts of the pen and try to do some writing the scribo logo the quill very nice simple i like it uh, we have the clip which is sort of a, a ski slope shaped i like that curve a lot it's playful i, I think it's very nice um, nice and fairly tight clip but it, not so tight that it doesn't work we have the center band which says Scribo on one side and feel the writing on the other. And here is this very fine texture, these sort of ribs. I don't know if I can really show that because it's hard to get the, the light right. Um, but I'll try to put that in the picture I uh, put in the website. A faceted pen, the two sort of bulbous bits I think are quite attractive. Again, a little playful uh, and um, the facets line up reasonably well between barrel and cap, which is also nice. Not perfect, but reasonably well. You unscrew the cap, you see a couple of things. Here we have, of course, the piston turning knob. These pens, by the way, they don't really post, so don't expect that. Um, the section is interesting because it starts off faceted on this end, and then those facets end up as a round shape. So they kind of lose that, that faceted nature, quite nice. 
you have nice threads and a pretty substantial step down from the barrel, right? I don't find it sharp, I don't find it unpleasant to the touch, but it is quite a step down. Metal ring there, make sure you dry that well. Metal rings at this end are in touch with ink when you ink up a pen and that can lead to corrosion, so always be careful. A nice nib, Omas style, feel the writing, Scribo 18K750 and it says here triple broad, B, 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 ebonite feed too. And there is a lot of tipping, you see that? Even with the naked eye, that is a serious ball of tipping. So I think what you really want to see is how the pen writes. Let's try to get that show on the road. Now, when I was playing with this and testing it, uh, I did feel the nib is quite picky uh, as to its sweet spot. So let's see what it does on Rhodia, fairly smooth and coated paper. Here we have the Scribo feel. I'm not going to write down the full name because as you can see, I ran out of space very quickly. The ink is Ackermann Delft's Blau. And this is a serious nib. So far, it seems to like the paper, but I will do my uh, overpolished test in just a second. Yeah, it's a chunky nib. Writing fast works pretty well, nib keeps up pretty well. As I said, this is a juicy writer. Not super wet, but bear in mind the Delft's Blau ink is on the dry side of things. Okay, with a nib this broad, you get a little bit of a stub-like quality. This is no pressure, but you can see the diagonal strokes in that direction are narrower than the diagonal strokes in this direction. When they say triple broad, they're not joking though. That is substantial. Um, line variation, you therefore get a little bit of natural line variation. It's not a flex nib, and I wouldn't push these, these nibs are relatively soft, you don't want to spring anything. They have a flexible nib option. If flex is what you need, buy that. Um, reverse, right? No, I was going to do my over polish test. The more of these lines that skip, I find the more over polished the nib is. And actually, it does fine. I had more issues with it on other paper. Um, which I use these notebooks from Applebaum. Um, I had more skipping on there, oddly enough. So it may have been that particular paper. Interesting, take that in mind when I talk about likes and dislikes because I've recorded that before I recorded this. On Rhodia, it really seems to be pretty good. There are some hard starts, there we go. But then it picks up again and then it really keeps going. So I really don't have that many issues on this paper, which is much better than I expected. Reverse writing to make the nib finer. Well, it doesn't. If anything, it makes it even more stub-like. So that's interesting, and it's very wet that way. Like, it, it's, it doesn't run dry, which is great. That was a hard start. Very interesting. I think we should talk about likes and dislikes. And once again, look at this material. It's so pretty. What do I like? What do I not like about this Scribo? Uh, the Scribo feel is not for everyone. The, the slightly bulbous look, not everybody likes. Some people really do, some people really collect them. But that's a very subjective statement. The section is quite long. I like that it has facets that kind of turn into a round uh, shape. A little hard to describe, but it's it's very comfortable. It's a nice size. It's a piston filler. It has an ebonite feed. It has an Omas type nib because Scribo were people from the Omas factory and they they um, have the machine to make these nibs, which is very cool. Um, I like all that. The material is stunning. It really does look like a starry. You can't see that, can you? It really does look like a starry sky and it's, it, it, it blows me away. It's a lot of fun to look at and I really, really like that. So that's great. Um, 
the price is high. It's uh, I was just checking. I checked Applebaum's website because he has sent me one of these in the past. So uh, it's five. Not this particular finish, mind you, but it's five hundred eighty-one ninety-seven. Actually, this is not Applebaum's site. Sorry, I'm confused with another Scribo. I was just reviewing. Uh, this is from the Scribo website. 581 euros 97 cents. That's without European VAT. And then another 98 euros and 36 cents for the triple broader stub nib. So it's well over 600 euros. Expensive. It's an expensive pen. On the other hand, as I said, special material, piston filler, gold nib. Ebonite feel. Like, there, there is a lot going for it, but by no means is this a cheap pen. Let, it's, it's that simple, right? So you do get a pretty complete set when you buy it, which is very nice. I like that. Um, what about things I don't like so much? Well, there is no ink window, so you don't really know how much ink is left uh, when you when you know when you are using it. It's a bit of an issue. You can't really post these pens for people who really like posting. That's that's good to know. Um, and in this particular case, the nib is huge, but it's also over polished. And as a result, on smooth paper, especially with very broad nibs, that, that tends to happen, um, very smooth paper, the nib skips. And you really, it's very picky as to its little sweet spot. So that is certainly something to take into account. Now, I never know if all those nibs are like that, or if only this nib is like that, but it's a good thing to be aware of. Maybe if you can give this a shot, or see what the exchange policy is, or factor in the money for a Nibmeister, which some people do as well. That's what I have. I hope this was useful, and uh, I'm glad to see you later. Thank you much to Scribo for lending me that pen. I appreciate it. Bye!